summer in Berlin. There's nothing quite like it. I'm Sarah Huckel with CW Travel, and Berlin has been my home for 10 years. I'm gonna show you some of the places I love to visit in summer. I'm always amazed by how green Berlin gets in summer, especially here along the canal, as I walk to an amazing brunch spot, Zimt und Meer. I wanted to start the day off right with a Turkish-style breakfast here in the hip and multicultural neighborhood of Neukölln, my neighborhood. I have here menemen, which is tomatoes and eggs and a whole lot of other stuff. Let's see how it is. Wow, really, really good. Now north to the former East Berlin neighborhood of Prenzlauerberg, where the lines to get ice cream are really long. But there's no time for that. We have some serious thrifting to do at the Mauerpark Flea Market. This famous flea market is a Sunday favorite. You can literally find anything and you don't have to spend a fortune. Cute. <laughs> I like that. Weasel or a meerkat. It's also a great place to perfect your Berlin look. I love this. This is very Berlin. I like it. You can't go wrong with vintage. And if there's one thing I've learned, Leather is always in fashion in Berlin. That's a fact. Oh my God, it's, co it's so cool. <laughs> but not as cool as this guy. <laughs> the real fun starts outside the flea market. This is Mauer Park, which translates to the Park of the Wall. For nearly 30 years, the Berlin Wall divided the city into east and west. This area was a dangerous border zone. After reunification in 1990, the no man's land became a public park, popular with both locals and tourists. On summer weekends, Mauer Park feels more like a music festival. You might have heard of the park's famous Sunday karaoke, which always draws a crowd. But the variety of music played here is huge. Live looper Dorian, AKA Grey Contrast, makes a living playing his tunes on the streets of Berlin. He's here almost every week. So Dorian, tell me, you're a performer here. What's special about Mauer Park on Sundays? Why do you come to perform um, here? Great question. Hi, Sarah. Hi. I think what's best about Mauer Park is uh, that it's been fought for by many initiatives. Uh, safe Mauer Park and Berlin Street Music to be legal. So it's like the only place for music where you can do music without worrying, without getting fines, just uh, playing without any constraints by the police. And um, it's super fun because people feel it. People come here for the music. It's a cultural park. Jams are here. The drum circle is always happening. The karaoke right there. It's just pure music. It's like a festival ground, to be honest. And if you had to describe your musical project in like, let's say three words, adjectives. Psychedelic for sure. Okay, psychedelic. Um, connecting because I'm connecting with the people and yep. and vulnerable. Let's hug. I feel like that's what we got to do here. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, but now it's time to chill. Fortunately, I'm right next to one of Berlin's oldest beer gardens, the Pata. And there's a lot of beer to choose from. You can also try beer with non-alcoholic beverages. Uh, that would be the Radler, for example, which is Pils with 7-Up, or the Diesel, which is actually beer with Pepsi. I'm not into that, but maybe you are. <laughs> I've ordered this Hefeweizen, that's a wheat beer, and it is honestly more of a Bavarian thing, so sorry Berliners. Uh, I also have a Thuringer Bratwurst and a pretzel because you need to have a pretzel, obviously. And by the way, even though Berlin's public transportation is excellent, I prefer to take a bike in the summer. It's even more sustainable and free. You can use one of the many bike rental apps to get from A to B or rent one for the day. 
In summer, Berliners love to head to the city's parks to make up for the famously gray winters. With 2,500 parks, Berlin is one of the greenest cities in Europe. My favorite is Tempelhofer Feld, a former airport ground in the center of the city. Once the busiest airport in Europe, it was rebuilt by the Nazis, then used by the Allies during the Cold War to bring food and supplies to West Berliners. In recent years, there have been many attempts to privatize the park and build apartments, but so far, it's managed to stay in the hands of the public. It's really a community meeting point. You'll find people rollerblading, families grilling, everything you can imagine. It's like uh, an oasis in the center of the city. I love the fact that it gets dark later in summer. It gives us time to check out the Holtzmarkt, a unique spot along the River Spree. With artist studios, a theater, and more, this urban development project was led by a group of friends behind legendary Berlin club, Bar 25. They wanted to create an inclusive space where everyone is welcome. Sustainable development was important. 50% of the land is green space. I caught up with Konstantin Klecks from the cooperative to find out more. What can you tell me about the Holtzmarkt's vision? How does this represent the kind of Berlin that you guys want to see? I mean, we're an urban development project that is organized as a cooperative. So that means we work community driven, but not profit driven. That's, I think, the most essential part there is to it. I think what makes this place is you can come here regardless of who you are and find your spot by the river. And how have you seen Berlin change since Bar von Mons opened in 2003? You have a lack of affordable space these days, and that is a problem for people who want to be creative and can't afford living in Berlin anymore, or not that easy as it was. So you have Katerblau on the premises, a very well-known club in Berlin. Why do you think people from all over the world come to club in Berlin? Yeah, I think clubs in Berlin, at their best, can be places where the most different realms of society collide and you can be whoever you want to be for that one night and the rules of society and identities kind of fade in moments and that's what it's all about. From here you can continue on to one of the city's famous clubs like Katerblau or the infamously hard to get into Berghain. But our night together stops here because there are no cameras allowed. <laughs> I had so much fun today. Thank you for coming with me, and I really hope you saw how magical Berlin can be in summer. See you next time.